Hey everyone, Tim with Casual Builds here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made these overhead garage storage shelves. It was a super easy project made with two by fours and some plywood. You could probably get it done in, uh, in a day too, and uh, it is the perfect solution for you if you have high ceilings in your garage and you're just looking to fill that space with all those storage bins and totes that you're tucking away in your attic. You just want them easily accessible in the garage. So. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna show you how I made this and uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So this is the design that I came up with. I did need to change things up in the middle, but I'll cover that later. The ceilings in my garage are about 12 feet high, and then the two sections between those trim pieces are about 93 inches wide. So I'm gonna make two frames, screw them into the studs in the wall, and then secure it all to the ceiling. I'm sure your dimensions are gonna be different though, but really the only thing that I want to make sure of was that this space was tall enough to fit two of those storage totes on top of each other. For materials, I got like 15 eight foot long two by fours and then grabbed two sheets of half inch plywood. And once all the materials were brought in from the truck, I grabbed my ladder and I started measuring everything out. I did a few things here. First, I measured down about 35 inches from the ceiling and made a mark. That's where the top edge of the frame will sit. And then I took a belt and suspenders approach to finding and marking the stud locations. So I used my stud scanner and a few little magnets to help locate the drywall screws, which should also tell me where the studs are. And lastly, I measured out 38 inches from the wall on the ceiling and drew a parallel line with the garage door for the two by twos. This will give uh, some additional support for, for the shelves. With everything marked out on the wall and ceiling, it was time to cut all the two by fours to length. I started off by chopping one end of each two by four off, and then I finished all the cuts using a stop block to ensure that all the pieces that needed to be the same exact size were. I also clamped up two of the longer pieces together to make the cut since they were a bit too long for my outfeed table. So everything is all cut except for the two by two boards that are gonna go on the ceiling. And I haven't done that yet because I have two by four boards and I ultimately need to rip uh, them in half. And uh, my table saw is not set up yet from the move. So I'm gonna take some time, set that up, and then we can make those cuts. One. Table saw assembly. Later. All right, running into a little problem, but uh, we can find a solution for it. So what I realized is as I was trying to find the studs up on the ceiling that they actually run this way and not this way. And because of that, there's no real stud location in the, in the spot where I'm supposed to put the two by two posts. So I'm gonna assemble a frame and then what I'll probably do, I'm not sure yet, is maybe get some fisheye hooks and just get some chain and then I can support the frame on the you know, the outside that way. So that might be a solution because then I can just put it into the ceiling joists or whatever. So let's figure it out. The process to build the frame is pretty straightforward. I started off by marking and then pre-drilling and countersinking for all the locations of the screws. After I did this, I drilled all the screws in just a tad so it was easier when it came to assembly. Oh, and also be mindful of where you position the middle slat pieces so they don't line up with your stud locations in the wall. We'll wanna be able to easily access this area so we can mount the frame to the wall studs later on. All right, so I figured out what I'm gonna do. I have a stud running this way, and there's the wall for reference. So I'm just gonna make sure that it lines up with that point all the way back. And then I found this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up into the ceiling and then hook some chains on it, and that should give it the support that it needs instead of the two by two all the way across. So that's the solution. So yeah, I got four eye lag bolts for the ceiling, one for each corner of the frame. And then I also got a few other eye bolts which we'll use later on on the frame itself. So the chain has something to connect to. And these little hooks are actually perfect because I was wondering how I was gonna lift the frame up so that I could attach it to the wall. Um, but I got this rope and I think I'm just gonna hook this rope up to those little hooks up there and then tie it to the frame and kind of like hoist it up so it can just kind of stay supported and, and level when I, I drill it into the studs to get it all secure. Sweet, let's try it. This 
This rope looks a little thin, so we'll see if it holds, but here goes nothing. All right, I think I'm gonna hold it there. I'm gonna just connect this rope to something so it doesn't fall down. I don't know. Surprisingly, this idea worked perfectly. I made sure that the center of the frame was lined up with the placement marks that I made on the wall earlier. And then once it was good to go, I just screwed in one screw to hold it into place to make leveling easier. And then I just screwed two screws into each stud location. And then I grabbed the chains, hooked them up to the eye bolt in the ceiling, and then temporarily attached the chain to the frame with a screw from the outside. And I will be replacing these screws later, so don't worry. And now it's time to cut the plywood down to size. I used my track saw for this, but a circular saw with a straight edge guide will do just fine. I also sanded down all of the edges afterwards just to make sure that there was nothing sharp sticking out. And then I carefully lifted the plywood pieces on top of the frame and luckily they fit perfectly. Once they were in place, I marked out the locations for the screws, pre-drilled, countersank, and then drove in some two and a half inch screws to secure the plywood in place. You'll also wanna make sure that none of the screw heads are popping out from the top or else that might cause some issues with sliding stuff on top later on. All right, so we temporarily held up these chains and everything with this screw, but I have this eye bolt. Uh, I have a nut and a washer, and then I have two more on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is basically take this out, drill a new hole, put this in, secure it from the side, and then this way I can either make it stick out further or go back in, and it will help make everything all nice and level. So let's go do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. After connecting the eye bolts and hooking up the chains, I made some small adjustments to make sure that each platform was level. And then I started loading them up with some of the storage bins that have been sitting in our garage, which is awesome because that'll give me some more space to continue unpacking my workshop stuff. Hey, if you guys like this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.